check your blind spots. Audit. Use the scientific method, like I said earlier, and, and check what is stifling it. If you have a, a fresh set of eyes, you're now realizing you've left the old you behind. What is keeping you from hitting that next level? And then the next level. Where are the blind spots? What, what are you still harboring that is holding you back and stifling you from really being that greatest version of you right now? Because if you remember, the, the, the you that's here now is consistently evolving and changing. There's endless external stimulus, endless internal stimulus that's, that's giving you things to, to compensate, calibrate for. And obviously it's compounding. You are, you are a result of, of all your past experiences. But at the same time, if you're able to detach yourself from that past identity and check blind spots, you're able to look at yourself almost in the third person. You have you and you have a clone of you. What would the clone of you tell you about yourself? Yo, you, you got blind spots here, here, and here. You're lacking there, there, and there. Or would that clone of you also be blind to the blind spots? And you're like, well, duh, you're tripping on the same stuff. You know, it doesn't take a clone of you to evaluate you. You can do that yourself. You can check your blind spots. You can really, really see, well, if I were to be wrong, going back to that example, where would I be wrong? If, if in the vastness of everything that exists in the universe, I could have been wrong about a couple of things, where am I wrong? Where have I resonated with the identity? Where is my ego building a foothold and roots in something that is not part of me? I've, I've done it before. I've left an old version of me behind. How can I do that again and refresh? and make sure that I don't have these blind spots. I can, I can eradicate them in real time. And the fact that you can even realize that out of all the vastness of the cosmos, that something as small as a thought, the social condition is holding you back. And you can take the action to change your relationship with that, to not be triggered with it, to unroot the trauma, to really find the root cause of what's holding you back is a superpower that people don't don't take into account. They just they just let themselves dwell in in the world of oh this is me being me. Ah poor me at the whim of my environment, the whim of my my thoughts. What's driving me? No. You have the power to change it. You are in control. Catch those blind spots. Don't harbor them.